How's it going, guys and geeks? Welcome to the Geek Critique Show. My name is Dakota, and let's do our best to have a dignified geek out session and ultimately a productive conversation. This past week, it was announced that Marvel's The Eternals was being greenlit with director Chloe Zhao at the helm. This was met with praise in some corners of the internet, criticism in others, I mean, no surprise there, but most importantly, bafflement in every other corner of the internet. Because, as you're aware, the Eternals weren't really even in the top five Marvel superhero teams most likely to get the next film treatment. I can safely say that most of you watching this video have never picked up and or read an Eternals comic book, and that's okay. Most comic book readers hadn't read an issue of Guardians of the Galaxy by the time that was adapted to film in 2014. But with the near inevitability of the Fox merger bringing fan-favorite Marvel characters like X-Men and Fantastic Four back home, and, you know, potential sequels to all your other films certainly already lined up, why try and squeeze the Eternals in there? YouTuber Grace Randolph proposed yesterday that Marvel producer Kevin Feige likely greenlit the Eternals in an attempt to outshine DC's plans to create a New Gods movie. She goes on to say that Kevin Feige has gone out of his way to beat DC down at each step. Th this video is, in part, a reaction to that video, which I'll link in the description below. I respect Randolph, despite disagreeing with many of her opinions and outlooks on popular culture. And while I agree with her sentiments to an extent, I think her bias towards DC paints too malicious a picture of Kevin Feige. At face value, The Eternals does look like a response to DC's recently announced film, New Gods. Both center around humanoid races with extraordinary power and ability. DC's New Gods are immortal beings who live in the fourth world, a realm outside of time and space, where they face an endless war between the denizens of Genesis and Apocalypse, and they receive their power from their proximity to the Source. The Eternals are near-immortal beings, given their power from Celestials who, millennia ago, experimented on proto-humans, and they face an endless war with the Deviants. Both films will be directed by non-Caucasian female directors Ava DuVernay and Chloe Zhao. DC was long rumored to be working on a New Gods film, ever since Batman v Superman hinted at Apocalypse, and Justice League featured the New Gods Steppenwolf. Marvel was long rumored to be working on an Eternals film, as they've been teasing the expanse of their cosmic universe, since Guardians, but the Eternals rumors slowed down once talk to Fox-owned properties going to Disney began in haste. The Eternals comic in general might even be considered Marvel Comics' answer in the 70s to DC's New Gods. That is true technically, but it must be noted that Jack Kirby actually created both series. He worked with DC from 1971 to 1975 after leaving Marvel, and in that time he created New Gods, and the entirety of his Fourth World Saga which he didn't end up finishing. He went back to Marvel at that point and thematically tried to reboot his idea into what would become 1976's The Eternals. Eternals didn't perform nearly as well as he'd hoped, and he never got to finish it because Marvel cancelled the series. However, the threads were picked up in other Marvel storylines. The concept of Celestials developed in the series is now essential to Marvel lore, however, and has since been developed upon immensely on screen and in the comics. So yeah, it's fishy that Marvel announced the Eternals. It must also be said that Kevin Feige keeps his cards very close to his vest in regards to Phase 4 films, so why reveal this card? Was it just a jab at DC as Grace insists in her video? I guess it could be, and even if it weren't an outright jab per se, the timing and parallel aren't lost on Feige regardless. She also makes a comparison to what I like to call the big game of Hollywood chicken that Marvel and DC tried to play in 2016. Reportedly, directors Joe and Anthony Russo wanted to make a Civil War movie, but Kevin Feige was hesitant to greenlight it. That is, until DC announced that they were creating a Batman v Superman film, and only then did he give the directors the go-ahead. Now, was that Kevin Feige trying to screw with DC's plans, or was that simply competition breeding better products? Was it Captain America Civil War's fault that Batman v Superman failed to hit a billion dollars at the box office? It might have hurt its chances, but it was ultimately Batman v Superman's failing to procure solid ratings from critics and fans alike that cost it the ability to coast itself into the realm of the $1 billion club. And two can play the game of being jerks, as Grace wants to paint Marvel to be in the wrong here. Remember also the time that Batman v Superman cheekily tried to bully Captain America 3 out of that prime first week of May release slot. Well, it didn't work out so well for them. Everyone thought Marvel was going to budge. There was just no way a Captain America flick could 
outperform a film with both Batman and Superman duking it out. But a few weeks later, Warner Brothers realized that they were scared of the competition, so they pushed their film forward five weeks. Either they got wind that the deal was being struck with Sony's Spider-Man, or that Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man would feature in the film prominently, or they simply didn't want to push their luck with whatever Marvel had up its sleeve. Regardless, Batman v Superman, while technically a commercial success, did not by any means meet the level of success the studio was expecting. It sometimes feels, and I don't just mean in the Soul video I pointed out, that Grace and others blame Marvel for playing the game perfectly, and mistake their consistency for aggressiveness, which seems a little silly to me. You can't get mad at the kid with top grades if the other kids haven't done all their homework and you expect them to get top marks on their next test. I think Grace has a clear bias towards DC, which is fine, but she seems to direct a lot of her anger at Kevin Foggy for DC's continuous uphill battle. Why isn't Marvel releasing a Namor film to rival Aquaman in the coming months? Why did it take Marvel two years to produce a reply to DC's Wonder Woman? Why didn't Marvel create a team of anti-heroes to save the world to counter Suicide Squad? Well, I guess Suicide Squad was technically a response to Guardians of the Galaxy, but you see my point. It's extremely unlikely that the timing of the Eternals announcement so shortly after the New Gods film announcement is coincidental. But what if it is? Thanos, one of the best comic book villains adapted to film, is himself an offshoot of the Eternals' bloodline. The beings that granted the Eternals power through experimentation, the Celestials, have been introduced in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. And likely, if they choose to go with the Celestial Galactus as a future MCU threat, the Eternals might just be as important to that plotline as the Guardians were to Infinity War. Now, this is all speculation at this point, but it's still very curious. I'm not sure if I'm entirely sold on either of these films at this point, but we'll see how it all develops. I also want to thank Grace Randolph for her hard work in the industry and on this platform. She has a level of output I can barely wrap my head around, and she knows the ins and outs of the industry to an incredible extent. If you get around to ever watching this, I mean only to put more context into the conversation of these two films, and I mean no disrespect in the slightest. So let me know, are you more of a New Gods fan or an Eternals fan? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to comment back to every single one of you. If you enjoyed our content and want to help out, please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and please consider checking out our Patreon page so that you can fund the creation of videos just like this. Thanks guys, have a good one.